Hello everyone, if you find that the static text title is too boring, and that the animated title templates provided by OpenShot are too limited and take some time to render, then you might consider creating animated titles using multiple text images, like this one here. I created this animated title from these three images of a line and two texts, whose background are all transparent, by adding multiple effects to them and carefully setting the effects properties to get the desired result. So if you want to give it a try, let me just show you how to do it. So here I have added the three image files I showed you just now to the project files. First I will add the line image to track 4, which is the topmost track of this project. Putting the line image at the topmost track will help us get neater and better sliding up and down effects of the two lines of text later. Now with the playhead positioned at the start of the clip, go to the clip properties and set the scale x property to 0. This will make the line image hidden at the start of the video. Now go back to the timeline and we will make the stretching of the line animated for 1 second. So move the playhead to the 1 second mark of the timeline ruler, and then change the clip scale x property value to 1. To make the stretching of the line appear fast in the beginning and slower as the line is getting back to its normal scale, set its interpolation mode to Bezier Ease Out Expo. Now if we play the video, we should have something like this. The next step will be adding the main title image to the timeline's track 3, and make its clip start at the point where the line stretching animation ends. But before we continue, for convenience in adjusting the position of the title texts later, Let's temporarily reduce the line clip's alpha value to make it translucent. Now with the playhead positioned at the start of the main title clip, go to the clip properties panel and change the location y property value simply by clicking and dragging the property value bar. Change the location y properties value such that the top of the characters are in line with the top edge of the line. After that, add a crop effect to the main title clip. And then show the crop effect properties by clicking the crop effect icon on the clip. With the playhead still at the start of the clip, set the bottom size property to a value such that, the bottom half of the main title image is cropped, up to the top of the characters, which will consequently make the text hidden. Now go back to the timeline, and move the playhead to the 2 second mark of the timeline ruler to make the main title sliding up animation last for 1 second. So on the crop effect properties panel, reduce the bottom size property value such that the image is cropped, up to the baseline of the text. This will make the main title fully visible but the bottom part of the image is theoretically still being cropped. Then set its interpolation mode to Bezier Ease Out Quad. Now click the main title clip on track 3 to show its properties one more time, and set its location Y property back to 0. Then set its interpolation mode to the same mode as that of the bottom size property of the crop effect, which is Bezier Ease Out Quad. Please take note that, it is very critical to set these two properties interpolation mode to the same mode for synchronized uncropping and translation effects. Now if we play the video, we should have something like this. The next step is adding the subtitle text, which will appear below the separator line. Make this subtitle clip start at the point where the main title's sliding up animation ends. Then go to the Clip Properties panel and set its location Y property to a value such that the subtitle text's baseline is in line with the bottom edge of the separator line. After that, add a crop effect to this subtitle clip. Now with the playhead still at the start of the clip, set the top size property to a value such that the top half of the subtitle image is cropped, up to the text's baseline, which will consequently make the subtitle hidden. Then go back to the timeline and move the playhead one second into the subtitle clip. After that, reduce the top size properties value until the subtitle is fully visible. Change the interpolation mode to Bezier Ease Out Quad. Now click the subtitle clip to show its properties. On the subtitle clip's properties, change the location Y property value back to 0, and set its interpolation mode to Bezier Ease Out Quad. Now if we play the video from the beginning we should have something like this. Alright, so we've completed the first half of the title animation. Now we're gonna do the second half, which is basically the reverse of the first half. We'll use the same clips and crop effects properties and set them to the same values, but in reversed order and reversed interpolation modes. So we'll start from the subtitle clip on track 3. We'll make the subtitle stay on the screen for one second. So first I'll move the playhead to the 4 second mark on the timeline ruler. 
Then I will insert the current frame as keyframe to the clip's location Y property. Now click the crop effect icon on the subtitle clip, and then insert the current frame as keyframe to its top size property. To make the sliding up animation last for one second, move the playhead to the five second mark of the timeline ruler. We'll also trim off the rest of the subtitle clip from this frame onward. Then set its top size property back to its initial value, which is 0.53. But this time we'll set its interpolation mode to Bezieres in quad, instead of Bezieres out quad. After that, click the clip to show its properties, and then set its location Y property back to minus 0.08. Change its interpolation mode to Bezieres in quad. Repeat these steps for the main title and line clips. Once we're done, remember to set the line clip's alpha value back to 1. To show how the animated title will look when it's used in a video, I will add another video clip on track 1 that starts 0.5 second before the animated title ends. Now if we play the video from the beginning, we'll have something like this. Alright, so that's how we can create a custom animated title without using the standard templates and Blender. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial.